Oh, all right. Still uh, sort of reeling from that last one. Jace. All right, I'm going to keep this, even though there's not a black source. Uh, we have Old Man and Jace for some, ideally, some value. But, oh my god, guys, wow. That last game. Craziness. All right, keeping. Let's see what our opponent is up to. What sort of shenanigans are you up to, my friend? Black. All right. Ooh, got our own black source. So we're going to be able to do a turn to Bitter Blossom, which is always nice. Oh, once again? Once again, Bitter Blossom not doing it? <laughs> we just can't catch a break with Bitter Blossom. The funny thing about Bitter Blossom is how insane it was when it was with uh, the Fairies deck. My god. That was like the most obnoxious. Give me that disfigure one time off the top. No? All right. That's okay. I'm going to take his tight owl sculler with my old man. All right. Lingering souls. Pretty good. Could repeal the token, but I don't think that's worth my time. Uh, probably just drop the old man. That way I can steal a token, instant speed, and that actually works pretty well. So my plan is I can block his sculler now. I can also steal a spirit token and block a spirit token. So old man, kind of good against that. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. He had uh, all the goodies, so I can't do anything except take some damage. So I guess I can Signet, play a Jace, and I guess just down it. Could up it, but I don't want my opponents to have any my opponent to have any more cards, and I don't mind him attacking Jace, since it's preventing damage right now. So I basically just need to find Grave Titan. Maybe Massacre Worm already looks like it could be good in this matchup. All right. He is dedicating some forces to Jace, so that's good. We're still taking four, though, which is more than I feel comfortable with. Too bad that Bitter Blossom got taken. Sure seems like it would be good against Lingering Souls right about now. Uh, another land doesn't do anything. Metamorph on Shriek Maw doesn't do that much. I guess I just hard cast a Shriek Maw. Just leaving up Signet, so I'm not even faking like I have... Uh, not even faking like I have, uh, what am I talking about? Four spike. All right, looks like we're up against junk. Taking more damage. All right, it's not all that good. I guess we play the metamorph first. Let's copy our Shriek Maw to kill another token. Get in with Shriek Maw. Guess I repeal a token. So I've used three cards to take care of a Lingering Souls. The Abyss. Archangel of Thune seems difficult to beat. Let's see if I've got an out. No. Another land. Um, I'm going to take four in the air, I guess. Do I play the Abyss? Probably do. 
Guess I just get in with a Shriek Maw. So I can trade with his Sculler. Play Abyss. So sack the token. Bitter Blossom does not do anything for us anymore. All right, got to take it. No choice. All right, very good. So we'll get rid of our, get rid of our, wait, I can't target this. Oh, non-artifact. Wow, wait, so that means, that's kind of cool, actually. So that means I never have to, that's kind of interesting, actually. Well, that was a bad draw. <laughs> All right, I have to actually pass. I have to trade with this skull or else I'm just dead. If I get the option to. Wonder why he would choose Sculler. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. Bitter Blossom doesn't do me much good anymore. I can't even play the Vampiric Tutor, I don't think. Do I have life gain in my deck? Wait, am I dead now? Guess he can pernicious deed to get rid of my abyss. Uh, do I want to find anything with Vampiric Tutor? Do I have any way to gain life? No. Could find a Grave Titan, I guess. Do I want to find a Grave Titan? Then he can Pernicious Deed it away. Oh, he never... I see. He can't get rid of Sculler because it's an artifact creature. Okay. Well, wish I could get rid of that. Do I... What, what do I want to find with my Vampiric Tutor? I got to think about this. I do actually have time this time, so I should think. I could... I can't do Disfigure... I can find Venser to bounce Pernicious Deed, but that doesn't do anything. I can do Glenelendra Archmage? And what does that do? Not much. I can Maloku. I think I just wait. Although finding Cryptic's not the worst. If I find Cryptic, I keep him off a spell that could kill me. That might actually be the right move. Could also do Fact, actually. Yeah, Fact actually might be the best. Uh, Pernicious Deed can't take care of Jace, either. Alright, change my mind. Doing Jace. So that way I can play Jace. Brainstorm. Nice. So now we'll put... Wait, didn't I already play Image? Oh, it's a Metamorph. So I'll get rid of Image. All right. Image. Swamp. Play Swamp. Does this take care? Oh, it takes care of artifacts too? Jeez. Well, that sort of sucks. Maybe I just let him have the value. I don't want to die to Sculler, so let's force him to do it. 
I don't like this too much. But I feel like if I don't do this, he could kill me with that Sculler, which I really don't want him to do. So I'm not thrilled about this play, by the way. But at least I'm left with a Jace, which I feel like gives me a bit of an advantage. He's very motivated to use Pernicious Deed now to take care of our stuff. At least he loses his Sculler. And I guess he loses his Signet, too. I just don't want to die to Sculler if he can take care of my Shriek Maw. We, I mean, we're definitely forcing him to use Deed, which I think is okay here, like I say. I actually get to keep my Shriek Maw, too. Or he could wait. Still cannot play Bitter Blossom. But I guess it's something to get away with Jace. If we get to keep our Shriek Maw on Jace, I still think we're in pretty good shape. All right. So I get a Bitter Blossom back. He still takes damage. We're in okay shape here. Considering. Oh. Uh, I guess I can bounce that maybe. At some point. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's a nice card to have for sure. Face Fetters Elspeth is pretty dirty. Um, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Can image my Shriek Maw. To kill a soldier, attack Elspeth for three. Probably should have attacked Elspeth first. Because he could have a removal there, but he didn't. Alright. Let's take care of that. Gotta get in on Elspeth. Wish I could use Jace. I mean, Elspeth dies next turn, but... Not before he gets, I believe, a lethal amount of soldiers. And a Mox Jet, too. And more goodies? You don't run out of goodies? You still have more, huh? And a Gristle Brand. Yeah, just for good measure. Okay. Just hard casting a, a Gristle Brand. Seems, seems pretty legit. Tough to argue with that. Yeah, Disfigure doesn't do all that much against Gristle Brand is the unfortunate thing. All right, well, we just got absolutely uh, decimated here. Harshly, might I add. Yeah, we're just dead. Let's, let's, whatever. Let's, I guess, act like we have something. Whatever. So he's going to gain seven life, draw a bajillion cards, kill us next turn. I can't do anything. Yeah, hard casting gristle brand. That's very interesting. All right. Yet again, bitter blossom worthless? Maybe. No, actually, it's good against lingering souls. We just, you know, have to actually be able to resolve it. Kind of want to massacre worm him. I, I think massacre worm could just absolutely wreck his entire day really badly. I don't know what to do about. Gristlebrand. I have no idea what to do about Gristlebrand. I just can't I can't do anything about that card. I can copy it. 
That's about it. Um, Brain Maggie's got removal. I don't like that. I kind of like the anime dead, mostly because I feel like he's on the res plan. So if he reses and then I get to animate dead first, it could be really good. Also, stealing his Archangel would be good. I feel like a Feomancer's not that good, but it still works well with the Abyss. The Abyss isn't great because he has token generation. But if I can keep him off Elspeth with the help of like Glen and Lindra, it could still be very good. Four spike still seems like it would have helped against that eight drop. If I'm bringing in Massacre Worm, do I want another black source? Maybe not. I have Urborg. Urborg helps my opponent too, but I think it helps me as well. I think we're still okay running Massacre Worm since we have a couple tutor effects to either find it or find the land we need to, to resolve it. Um, do I want the Bitter Blossom? I feel like I do. If I can resolve it early, it's good. Uh, a Fuelmancer doesn't seem that good, but it is good with the Abyss. But probably not good enough. I guess I'll ditch that. Uh, hmm. It's a lot of four drops. I guess this one's kind of a three drop. Uh, what do I cut? This figure takes care of Sculler. It's like the only thing I have that takes care of Sculler, too. Because Bone Shredder and Shriek Maw do not. Maybe we cut one of them. I guess I like Bone Shredder less? Or do I like it more? Probably like it less. Shriek Maw is getting in on Elspeth pretty nicely. All right, guess we'll cut the bone shredder. Let's try this. Would like to play first. This hand seems good. Think, think I'll resolve Bitter Blossom this time. We'll find out. He plays Mox Jet, Plains, Sculler. All right, that's better than a sculler. Oh my god, Bitter Blossom came out. No way. Four drop on turn two seems pretty good. Mind Sculptor. Wish I could play that. Uh, I think we just Jace draw. I want to be able to hit my land drops for future turns. All right, it's actually not a big deal. Cryptic, let's draw. There's a land. Let's, uh, I can play Old Man of the Sea, which isn't bad. Uh, I kind of want a Factor Fiction, though, is that right? Uh, let's leave up Cryptic and Factor Fiction. That seems better to me. He's got insane six drops or whatever. So if we can counter Elspeth, we're in good shape. I don't mind him going all in on Jace here. Jace already did its job. Um, I don't have to trade my fairies here, but I'm going to. 
Although I guess I can start. No, I think we got a trade. So he's going to get Jace. Which is okay. I could have prevented that by repealing. But I wanted to leave up Cryptic. Seemed better to me. Massacre Worm. Nice. Um, I should have Factor Fictioned. I forgot. So... I can Jace here, but then I can't counter his insane drops, so I gotta wait. Should have Factor Fiction, like I said. But we still have Cryptic, so I can counter everything important here. Like Elspeth or Gristlebrand. Well, gotta Cryptic that, unfortunately. So, counter that and draw... Another token. Vencer's nice to be able to leave up. So we'll leave up Factor Fiction and Vencer. Could also Jace here, but I want a Vencer. I want to be able to get rid of the stupid uh, Gristlebrand play. I hate how good his hand is, I'll tell you that much. Definitely hate how good his hand is. Demonic Tutor. There we go. Let me see what I can find that can deal with. <laughs> Could force spike it. What are the chances that he doesn't have a land drop? Or that he makes it. Should I go for it? I can also image his dude. I can also image my Vincer to bounce it. I, is it wrong to... Okay, tell me the truth. Is it wrong to do Force Spike? Is there a better counter spell I've got? I guess that's a more important question. Uh, no. I don't have any other counter spells. Uh, I could do the Abyss. But then he still gets to draw a million cards. What are the chances that he just makes a land drop? <laughs> kind of want the Abyss. The Abyss isn't bad. Tutoring for a four spike. Is that just ridiculous? It's pretty ridiculous. Um, but if I were to stop a... Hmm. I can also bounce his Gristle Brand. Just play the Jace, Fate Seal. The Force Spike play is a bit greedy. Do kind of like it though. Well, okay. Here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna tutor for four spike. Now you're wondering why in God's name would I would you do something like that? But if he doesn't play the land, it's huge punishment. If he does play the land, I can Jace bounce. So I should even. I was gonna say image, but I don't think I'm going to. Maybe he's scared now to do Gristle Brand. I guess just tutoring scares him out of Gristlebrand a little bit.
I don't mind that. He's got two cards left in hand. All right, four spike in that. can play the abyss to make him sack the that's pretty good i can even if i draw land yeah that's good all right we're getting in we're playing jace kind of want to hit a land drop here so i'm gonna brainstorm Ooh, caracas too that's so sick all right so we'll put Maloku and Massacre Worm on top. Play Caracas and pass. Now he can't. Now Grissobrand does not matter. That was something I should have thought about, actually. Day of Judgment is okay. Well, I guess bounce our vents here. Day of Judgment for a couple tokens. That's no big deal. Um... Guess we can start fate sealing because we have infinite vents here. No. Can keep the land. Um, I've got enough mana to play a two drop plus. Okay, let's pass. Let's uh, Venser bounce your signet. Not not bouncing mine for mostly because I don't need to. I can just do it in response. Start beating in. Nope. Get in with Vincer. Uh, leave up Caracas on Vincer plus counter. Signets back out. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I think I'll fact. Uh, do I need four lands? I guess I don't. Play a land, fate seal. Nope. Bitter Blossom comes out. We attack with Venser. The reason I'm not Caracas doing it is because I get to just do it in response to a spell or removal. And in the meantime, I'm just beating down with it. So for the big spells, I can just Bounce my Vincer. All right. So, a lot of big spells out of my opponent. Balance, Day of Judgment, Mind Twist, good artifacts. Are the Shackles and the Old Man a lot worse? These are just for stealing tokens, which definitely seems worse. Could also him to Turek, my opponent. Do I want Snapcaster? I kind of do for extra counter spells. It's a lot of blue sources necessary, but I still kind of like the Massacre Worm for Lingering Souls and uh, 
um, spectral procession. Maybe I don't want animate dead. Probably not enough creatures to justify it. Caracas is pretty key in this match. For taking care of Gristlebrand. Um, hmm. Guess everything else is okay. I can't imagine Day of Judgment's all that good against us. I could do him to Turek instead of Old Man. Double Black's a little bit of a problem, but probably not that big of a deal. Getting rid of cards in his hand when they're powerful like that seems good. All right, let's try this. Actually, I actually like the idea of him to Turek with Snapcaster, him to Turek, but that's let's see how likely that is to happen. All right, Metamorph, the Abyss. Uh huh. Am I keeping? I mean, I guess I can. Yeah, it's all right. It's not great. Don't want to play the Urborg for a little bit until I need it. All right, well. Loku, not bad. I guess the Abyss at some point is going to be okay. No three drop play either. Interesting. Almost wish he had a Signet I could have copied there. That would have been helpful. All right. So I'd like to mask a worm for the full value, but probably, well, I guess, kind of just want to abyss here. Buys me some time. All right, it's pretty good. But Massacre Worm can do some work too at some point. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we pass. Basically, the problem with Massacre Worm is Yeah, I think I've got to do the Grave Titan first, because I want to keep my Massacre Worm. So, end of his turn, we can factor Fiction. You can also Mind Twist us for five, potentially, next turn, which is pretty much insane. I'd have to fact in response, I guess.
So I think I'm going to Grave Titan. I think I just probably take whatever one's got more. Bitter Blossom and Jace versus Shat. Well, I'll take the Bitter Blossom and Jace. I like this more. Because Bitter Blossom's good with the Abyss. Um, although I am going to be playing Grave Titan next turn, right? How good Spitter Blossom going to be? I guess I'm still taking a bit of a beating. I'm above. Could steal tokens. Uh, I guess I go with this one, actually. I want the lands. All right. So we'll do that. Tutor's kind of nice. Let's play Grave Titan here. This way I get some dudes. He's got to deal with our Grave Titan pretty much immediately. Next turn, Massacre Worm, and then I can maybe kill Soren, or at least keep it off ultimate. He can Banishing Light Grave Titan. It's not the end of the world. Could play... Uh, all right. That's actually... It's not that bad. All right. Wait, he forgot to use Soren there, too. That's nice. Oh, wait, no, he did it at the end. Okay. Did that on my turn. Got it. Got it. Ah! And it's random. Well, everything good. That's the way it goes. Everything I care about just got lost there. So, yeah, once again, I'm low on time. Oh, boy, that doesn't do anything. All right, let's do the shackles, I guess. Let's attack Soren. So, a little bit of a time constraint again, unfortunately. Uh, what happens if I use it in response? Yeah, it's for as long, so it does work. Can't do anything about that. You get more dudes, which sucks for me. That mind twist ruined my day. It was a real day ruiner. If only, if only he hadn't hit the massacre worm, it wouldn't have been. It would have only been really bad instead of horrifically, horrifically bad. Tutor for what now? Does Tutor do anything anymore? What am I even digging for? That helps me here. Glenelendra. Not really. Um, did I sideboard into Animate Dead? I probably took it back out, didn't I? Whatever. I'm just going to play it. I don't even care. Let's see what I can find. I don't have enough time to think about it. <laughs> Mind Sensor 2. All right. Well, wait a second. That's kind of weird. All right, well, let's do the Grave Titan then. Wish I could play it. Oh, never mind. He's going to get to uh, Ultimate Soren, so then I can't do anything. Because he can Ultimate Soren and then steal my... Uh, Grave Titan. 
So I should have gotten Vincer to bounce it, but that wouldn't have done anything either, really, to be honest. And Gideon, yeah. All right. Don't think we're winning, guys, but it was a good run. The fact that we won round two is still uh, pretty awesome, in my opinion. But, yeah, I don't think we're winning this one. Soren was, like, one of the worst things that could happen. Ah, whatever. We're dead anyway. I don't even care anymore. Let's just play it. We're going to lose. Don't even care. He just gets to steal it. I don't even I don't even care anymore. He can steal it. So he can target them both when he ultimates Soren. He won't get this Grave Titan because it'll die, but he will get this one. Oh, because it's just going to... Oh, I see. And then he just attacks with Gids. All right, well, we lost. Uh, it sucks, right? But, hey, losses happen. Bitter Blossom seems like it's a terrible card overall. Don't like it. But uh, the fact that we won round two makes me happy. I wish I could win one of these. Man, one of these days, I'm going to win a cube. But uh, that deck panned out pretty nicely. So blue-black control. There you have it. We'll see you for the next one.